Hello. In this session, we will look at the Terraform modules uh, arguments. So when you are uh, defining the module block, Terraform uh, accepts certain types of arguments that uh, we can pass to uh, create the module block. So whenever you are calling the modules, we can pass certain arguments that Terraform supports. And modules can use the following kind of argument. So we can use the source argument, which is mandatory for all the modules. Then we have the version argument, which is recommended for modules from a registry. Then most other arguments correspond to the input variables defined by the module. And then Terraform defines a few other meta arguments that can be used with all modules, including for each and depends on. So these are the arguments that we can pass whenever we, we are defining our module block. So we have the source, we have the version and then the variables that has been defined in the root module and then some of the meta arguments that can be passed. So let's look at each of these uh, one by one in detail. So first we have the source argument. Now all modules require a source argument which is a meta argument defined by Terraform. So basically the source argument is mandatory. Whenever we are defining the module block, uh, we will have to give the source argument as to what do you want to use, whether you want to use the local path or you want to use a published uh, module to create your infrastructure. You will need to specify that by making use of the source argument. So in this case, for example, we are defining the module block and here I have the source argument and then basically the type of uh, source I want to use. So in this case, I'm using the local path uh, for creating my infrastructure. Now, the value is either the path to a local directory containing the modules configuration files or a remote module source that Terraform should download and use. So you can either use the uh, local module path or you can also make use of your published uh, modules. We will be talking about that in the upcoming sessions. Now this value must be a literal string with no template sequences. Arbitrary expressions are not allowed. So you have to make sure that it's a, a literal string. All right. So it's a valid value. Uh, it should not be an arbitrary expression. Terraform will not be able to process it. Now, the same source address can be specified in multiple module blocks to create multiple copies of the resources defined within, possibly with different variable values. So, if you want to create multiple copies of that infrastructure, maybe you want to create it across multiple regions, we can define the module blocks multiple times and within those multiple module blocks, we can define the same source address multiple times. Now, after adding, removing or modifying the module blocks, you must rerun the Terraform init command to allow Terraform the opportunity to adjust the installed module. So whenever we uh, make any changes to the module block, we will have to reinitialize. Uh, we'll have to run this Terraform init command once again so that the, uh, the uh, module block, uh, so that Terraform will adjust if there are any changes to the module block. By default, this command will not upgrade an already installed module. Uh, you can use the hyphen upgrade option to instead upgrade to the newest available version. So maybe there is a new version of the module that is available. Now uh, running the Terraform init command will not uh, download the latest version or it will not upgrade it. In case if you want to upgrade it to the latest version, you can make use of this hyphen upgrade option. So source is one of the argument that we use when we are making use of the Terraform modules. Then we have the version. Now, when we are using the modules installed from a Terraform registry, like the module registry. So let's say, for example, we're using the public registry. Terraform recommends explicitly constraining the acceptable version numbers to avoid unexpected or unwanted changes. So if you are specifying the remote URL of a published registry, it is recommended that we give the version of the module that we want to use. So use the version argument in the module block to specify the version. So in this case, if you see, I'm using the HashiCorp. So basically Terraform provided module and we can specify this version. So which version of the module you want to use? So maybe you are maintaining different different version of this module. You can specify which version of the module uh, you want to use when you're creating the infrastructure. 
So the version argument accepts a version constraint string. Uh, Terraform will use the newest installed version of the module that meets the constraint. If no acceptable versions are installed, it will download the newest version that meets the constraint. So version constraints are supported only for modules installed from a module registry such as the public Terraform registry or Terraform Cloud's private module registry. So basically the version argument we can use only when we are using the uh, remote URLs. All right, so when, we are, when we have to download the module from a uh, remote location. Other module sources can provide their own versioning mechanisms within the source string itself or might not support versions at all. So this version constraint, uh, it depends on your published registry that you are using. So if you're using the public Terraform registry or the Terraform Clouds private module registry, you'll have the constraint available. If you're using some other uh, registry like an S3 bucket or GitHub, then they will have their own versioning mechanisms. Now in particular, Modules sourced from local file paths do not support version since they are loaded from the same sourced repository. They always share the same version as their caller. So if you are using the local path for the module, then it does not support the version uh, argument. Uh, the version argument is only for the remote URLs. Next, we have the meta arguments. So along with source and version, Terraform defines a few more optional meta arguments that have special meaning across all modules. So source and version is something that you might end up using very commonly. In addition to this, depending on your use case, Terraform also supports certain types of meta arguments. So we have the count, which can be used to create multiple instances of a module from a single module block, so basically the same configurations. Then we have the for each so create multiple instances of a module from the module block then we have the providers so passes provider configurations to a child module so basically if you want to override the default provider configuration we can make use of the provider meta argument then we have the depends on so creates explicit dependencies between the entire module and the listed targets so these are some of the meta arguments that your terraform module supports so that's basically your, uh, your Terraform modules uh, arguments. So we will be looking at some of these uh, uh, in the upcoming sessions. We will be looking at examples for this. Uh, that's all for this uh, session. Thank you. Once again, before you leave, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you like the video, leave a like and please share the video.